All right, guys, let's take a look at a good little exercise for us where they're asking us to set up a proportion to calculate the percent of change and indicate if the percent of change is a percent of increase or a percent of decrease. And after we do so for each set of problems, we're going to rank the percent of change from greatest percent change to least percent of change for each set. Let's just jump right into it. Problem set one says which situation represent the greatest percent of change. Now, we just can't pick A, B, C, or D. We're going to have to take a look at them. So the first one says this particular rose bush grew from 24 inches to 36 inches. So we make we need to make sure that we're setting up um, our change in uh, original compared to new over our original. So, ooh, that was pretty shocking. So, first thing we'll do is take a look at the actual. There we go. So 36 minus 24 is equal to x to 10. So now once we subtract the original from the new, we should get 12 over 24 is equal to x to 10. Now remember, this is our standard proportion for looking at these percent of change. Now, we want to look at this. Now, remember me telling you guys before you can determine if these can be um, reduced, whether or not there's a scale factor involved, or other such. So, from here, let's divide uh, both 12 and 24 by 12. So we can see if we can reduce it, and we can. And here, uh, that'll give us pretty much one half. Okay, so one half. Now, what I want to look at before we go too far, too much further, you see that I that it's showing us that it's showing us one half times fifty is equal to x over 100 and I know you're probably wondering where is that 50 coming from we should know that we uh, we got one half from reducing 12 over 24 but when I look at one half and 100 over here I see that if I use a scale factor of 50 then I can multiply 2 times 50 to get 100 so I can also, if I'm going to multiply 2 times 50 to get 100, I must also multiply 2 times 1. And believe it or not, that's going to give me my x. So what I'm going to get is 1 times 1 is 50, which is going to give me 50% increase. Okay, let's take a look at the next problem. An 8th grade class enrollment went from 125 to 100 students in the second semester. So again, I'm looking at 125 to 100 and I need to find the difference and, and of course if we subtract, we must to find the difference, you notice we'll get 25. So our proportion is set up and that's 25 over 125 is equal to x over 100. Okay, again we want to reduce so the next thing we'll do is divide uh, 25 by 25, 125 by 25 and finish our proportion with x over 100. Now we can look at this because we're going to get one-fifth out of it. One-fifth, and we look at the difference between one-fifth 
and 100 and if we notice we can multiply by a scale factor of 20 and go from 5 times 20 to 20 and again we must multiply 1 as well times 20 and as we do so that's going to tell us the scale factor is going to give us our answer which is a 20 percent but because we went from 125 to 100 that is a decrease okay now a four pound puppy weighed 10 pounds in two months so he began at four pounds and then his weight increased to 10 pounds so we set it up as 10 minus 4 over 4 which is our original is equal to x over 100 when we subtract we'll get 6 over 4 is equal to x over 100 now we can reduce or we can look at this and see that some number times 4 or some number times 4 will give us 100 so let's go ahead and and find a scale factor here which is 25 so if we multiply 4 times 25 and 6 times 25 we will get a, an astounding 150 percent increase we could pretty much look at that with 6 over 4 and seeing oh my goodness that is a um, improper fraction so being so all we we know that we're going to have at least a hundred percent so here you have a hundred and fifty percent increase okay uh, the last one on this particular uh, problem set goes with an original price of a picture is three hundred dollars and it was sold for four hundred so let's set it up and that's four hundred minus three hundred over the original which is three hundred and that's going to be finishing out the proportion uh, x uh, to, t to 100 and when we subtract we will get 100 to 300 is x to 100 and we got a little something here that we want to look at uh, which is dividing or determining how we get from uh, 100 to 300 and we do so by multiplying times 3 and when we do so I'm sorry I said multiplying but I mean the scale factor to go from 300 to 100 is 1 third so that's multiplying by 1 third which is in essence still dividing by 3 and that's going to give us 33 and a third per cent so now as we look at these and rank these, because that's what they asked us to do after we change them, it says please rank them. So I see a 50% increase and what they're asking us is which separate, which situation represents the greatest percent of change. And it's, I don't think it really means anything about whether it's uh, increase or decrease. They just want to know the greatest percentage. So 50% is greater than 20, but... 20 is less than 150 and 33 and a third is less than 150. So if we were to rank them, I see C, A, B, and D. All right, let's see, can we run through this second one before our allotted is up? So the water level in a particular lake rose from 80 to 90. Again, we'll take 90 minus 80 is equal to x over 100 and we'll wind up with 10 over 80 is equal to x over 100 because 80 is the original and we're going to subtract and we'll get 10 over 80 is equal to 100 now from this point on we can do some dividing to uh, literally reduce what we're dealing with and we can uh, well let's see I am pretty much trying to determine so what's going on here from and now again this is this is the actual key what I would have done 
I would have reduced this to 1 over 8 and then looked at the 1 over 8 to determine what is the actual uh, actual decimal and actual uh, percent for 1 over 8 and that gives me 12.5 so again the author decided to go this way with it by dividing everything by 4 over 100 and that will give us uh, 2.5 over 20 and then they went using a scale factor which is okay using a scale factor to go from 20 to 100 and then multiplying uh, that same scale factor times 2.5 and that gave us 12.5 again what I would have done was uh, uh, reduced and simplified from there still would have gotten 12.5 uh, B says uh, seventh grade class enrollment went from 80 students to 60 students after the summer vacation uh, so again we need to see the difference between 80 and 60 and we should get 20 so here's where we set our proportion up 80 uh, minus 60 over 80 which is our original uh, is equal to x over 100 and then of course what we do from here is we will get 20 over 80 uh, is equal to x over 100 and then we can take looking at again what the author decided to do and this is a good choice here is to reduce and he reduced by 20 and that gave him one fourth as you can see and then now one fourth which is 25 over in 100 so that's our scale factor 25 times 4 will give us 100 so of course 25 times 1 will give us uh, our scale factor and our percent so C and we are running really with time C says uh, a show goat weighing 100 pounds dropped to 82 pounds. So this will be again another decrease. So 100 minus uh, 92 is equal to x over x to 100. Uh, we should see 8 over 100 is equal to x over 100. And uh, again, we can look at this and determine what is our increase or our particular decrease what I'm looking at is uh, multiplying uh, 800 dividing by 100 and we'll get an 8 percent decrease really 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 easy here as it goes as we go down uh, 20 um, 27 inch TV originally priced at $200 was on sale for 180 so we will easily subtract and once we do so we'll get 20 over 200 that's a real good picture here which is still equal to XO that's our proportionary X over 100 now from there uh, literally we can see if we divide by 2 that's going to give us 10 percent and the 10 percent decrease and then again if we look at our uh, ranking we have B which is 25 percent then A which is 12.5 percent and D which is um, 10 percent then of course C which is 8 percent okay so to follow up with everything let's just go ahead quickly and look at uh, the answers for D in class I just want to put these up to make sure you saw them again and then of course here's the rank all right again just take your time go over these and make sure you jot this in your notes there's problem three for you to stop and look at